How's it going guys? I'm about to check the automatic transmission fluid level in my Lexus and I'm probably going to top it off or change the fluid. I'm going to show you why you should not be using infrared thermometer for this like a lot of those guys out there on the internet suggest. So I spent almost the entire day doing the research and I ended up buying the official Toyota Lexus uh, repair manual and also subscribed for their software tech stream. I've got this connected and running right now. And as you may already know, to check the level, you need to operate within a very specific temperature range. So for my car, the transmission fluid should be in the range between 104 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now I'm at 125. I drove this car two hours ago and it's still kind of too hot. So I need to cool it off a little bit more. So the problem with these, a lot of guys, they point it at the bottom of the transmission at the drain pan and they use the temperature reading to base their operation off of. And I'm going to show you how much you can be off uh, versus the exactly correct numbers. We've got extreme reading 125.2 Fahrenheit. Okay, now let's go get under the car and try to get the reading. All right, so what they do, they either point it at the bottom of the pan, some of them say point it on the side. All right, so on the bottom, we're reading 118, 120, so it kind of varies. Let's try on the side also, 122. Okay, and on the side, 126. One twenty one. All right, I'm going to try to hold it steady and see. As you can see, even trying to get the constant reading is quite a bit of a challenge. So we've got 115 on average. All right, so it shows you less 114, 115. Once again, on the bottom, a little bit more. So let's say the range is between 114 and 120, which is in, in itself is quite a bit too much. All right, let's go back. Like I said, 114 to 120. And in here, we still have 124.2. As you can see, between four and 10 degrees off. Infrared camera shows the lower reading and for the obvious reasons because when you are outside some of that heat that transferred through the pan through the metal get dissipated into the air gets cooled off because the reading is lower that level of measurements that you're going to try to catch is going to be inaccurate and it's going to be less because transmission fluid expands with the temperature. You may not even notice any difference, but over the long run, you're going to probably cause more damage or you're going to wear out your transmission much sooner than you should. I'm probably going to do more videos on how to do this properly. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to enter this temperature measuring mode on the car even without using any scan tools and um, tech stream software another huge benefit of activating temperature detection mode is it's going to lower the engine rpm to about 800 and it's going to turn on the fans to keep the transmission fluid temperature low for as long as possible that's going to give you about 15 minutes window to complete the process but in the meantime do not use these for the sake of your transmission. It's not accurate. You don't know how well this tool is calibrated. Plus you lose the heat to their environment. You're gonna be way off. You're gonna cause a lot of trouble down the road. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hit the like button if you liked it.